Welcome, Northeast Conference fans. I'm Ralph Fentry with a special guest today, John Sparaw. He is the U.S. men's national team coach for volleyball. He is the head coach at UCLA in California, and he's also the founder of the First Point Volleyball Organization, and that's why we're speaking with Coach Sparaw today, the NEC, with a relationship now with First Point Volleyball. And Coach, I will let you explain, um, you as the founder of the First Point Volleyball Foundation, what is the organization's purpose and what inspired you to lead this effort? Well, thanks, Ralph. And it's uh, an honor to be here and obviously very excited about the collaboration that we now have with the NEC and the announcement that there'll be a new Division I conference for our sport. Um, we started the First Point Volleyball Foundation four years ago with this very hope that we'd be in this situation having this conversation about growing opportunities for boys and men within our sport. It's been fairly regionalized in its, its growth pattern over the years. I think it was used to be known as a, a California sport and Penn State has been very good. And then Ohio State has been very good. And there's some Chicago area growth, but now it's really starting to grow. We're getting growth in South Carolina and Minnesota all across the country. Most people don't know. They know about women's volleyball, but they don't know how boys volleyball has been the fastest growing sport in America for the last 10 years. It's a huge sport internationally. And the First Point Volleyball Foundation really just came about as a conversation between me and my co-founder, Wade Girard, when he called me and said, hey, how come boys volleyball isn't bigger? He had a daughter that played and he was watching his daughter play and he, he saw the size and the scope of the sport for the women and was wondering why that really wasn't available to boys in the United States today. That led to a conversation which we've been having at USA Volleyball for a long time, which is how do we grow our talent base to win gold medals? So that was really the genesis of it. Now it's more about, and it's organically grown within the foundation to just create opportunities for boys in the United States of America to play volleyball. And certainly at the top end, how we get scholarship opportunities, educational opportunities for boys, certainly we've seen that that's inspired growth. And, and now we're so excited about the NEC providing those educational opportunities for boys in America. Yeah, especially coming into an area where there have been some Eastern powers uh, in volleyball. You mentioned Penn State and, you know, there are the, the Princeton's of the world and even a Rutgers Nork or an NGIT, but now there are, seems to be more availability uh, with the NEC founding programs. And um, I assume that this NEC announcement is just kind of a microcosm of, of the success that that first point has had in, in recent years, um, what have been some of the accomplishments? Uh, obviously, the, the growth of the founding of a, the, the Northeast Conference uh, and some of its programs. But outside of the NEC, uh, what else has First Point accomplished? Well, it's, I think, been a remarkable four years, probably better than some people ever figured it could be. Um, Obviously, the NEC is and having a Division I conference add the sport is a tremendous achievement for us, and we're thrilled. Uh, we added the SIAC, uh, a historical black college conference last year, thrilled about the opportunity to continue to grow our sport and diversify its players. Um, we've added a number of Division II teams. We were involved early on in NAIA getting to its championship threshold. So we've really been involved in growing the number of scholarship opportunities. It's now going to be over 60 scholarships, full ride scholarships that we've increased for boys in America in the last four years. Now with the addition of the NEC, I'm not even sure what the number is, but it's over 60. Um, and then at the youth level, we've been very active with encouraging the growth of high school sponsorship. Uh, one of our board members, Scott Siegfried, was very involved in having Colorado sanction the sport of boys volleyball. So now we're active in a number of different states trying to do the same thing, Utah, Minnesota, South Carolina, and others. And now we've organized a collaborative group to continue 
to grow that pipeline. So we're really working from a top down scholarship opportunities, bottom up youth development, high school advocacy, club advocacy, trying to continue to, to fill in in between. Two part question for you. Um, one, why do you love volleyball so much? Why is the sport <laughs> so important to you? Yeah. And maybe speaking from experience, in what ways can it benefit boys and young men who engage in the sport and, and, and take up volleyball? Why should boys start playing volleyball? I think they should give it a shot. I grew up like many boys have in the past where I grew, I played soccer, I swam. And then of course I started getting taller. So played a lot of, of basketball, also played high school football. Um, and I was introduced to volleyball late, uh, a local bet. One of my best friends down the street, his older brother had started playing at the high school where it was sponsored. And I decided I wanted to give it a try and I loved it. I, I don't know if I can describe it anymore, but I literally was playing the game and thinking to myself, this is just exceptionally fun. It really is a great sport. And so I just had an affinity for it. It fit who I was athletically. And I just had a blast. I think we're finding that. I think in pockets of the country where volleyball has not been as well known on the boys side, it's considered to be more of a girl sport. And if boys give it a shot, if they just try to play, or if they just go watch the USA men or collegiate volleyball here at UCLA or others where the level is exceptionally high and the athletes are incredible. It is really surprising. I can't tell you how many times I've been coaching the national team and someone will come down from the stands and say, I cannot believe what I just saw because the athleticism is just tremendous. So it's a, it's a great, great sport to play. And obviously it's another avenue for a young man in this country to go and have an educational opportunity. And that can't be emphasized enough. And we all know from whether you're a football fan or you're a basketball fan or baseball fan or volleyball fan, we know that the opportunities provided by the collegiate athlete experience go far beyond the academic. It goes into leadership development, goes into interpersonal dynamics, goes into mental strength and, and, and the interpersonal dynamic. How do we all work together? How, how, what is our individual and collective best? And to have more opportunities in any sport to allow our young people to experience that, to grow from that, is, is wonderful for all of us. And we should be encouraging that in every way. To answer the first part of your question, I felt a real drive to give back to the sport. Um, as a national team coach, I felt it was my responsibility to, to create a situation, to encourage a situation that would be better for the next national team coach, whoever that may be, because what we're doing right now may impact the Olympic team 12 years from now. Uh, I probably won't be coaching that team, but uh, but I wanted that situation to be better. And, and finally, I felt like we've been talking about it for a long time. Those of us in the men's volleyball world have been wondering, like, how can we how can we do this? How can we grow the game? And what we've proven is that an intentional focused effort can get the job done. I wanted to do something instead of not talking about it. And now we're doing. And I'd really like to thank the, the First Point Volleyball Foundation board. They've been generous. They've been leaders really is an a, incredible group of business leaders where we're bringing their, their experience and acumen to the sport. It's made a tremendous difference already. They're a great group to work with. And I, I think we're seeing how that focused effort and leadership is making a difference in our sport. Yeah. And I can even attest as someone who has grown up in the Northeast and lived his entire life here, um, the opportunities are increasing and you see more boys high school volleyball teams now when that was not necessarily the case even 20 years ago. And, you know, I completely agree with you as far as the athleticism, you know, as Americans, you may think right now, they may think that, Oh, or associate volleyball more as a women's sport, but some of the greatest male athletes in the world are volleyball players. Uh, you know, if, if had anyone watched uh, Tokyo recently, you 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 could see that there. Um, so uh, it's obviously a, a noble endeavor. And speaking on behalf of the NEC, I know we're glad to be a part of it. Um, 
I think the best way to wrap up here, Coach, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but is there a chance once the NEC gets this thing underway in 2022-23 that maybe UCLA can take a, a Northeast tour, uh, maybe bring bring your team out here and, uh, and play in some of uh, the Northeast Conference gymnasiums? 100%, Ralph, we're coming. Listen, I... I really want to, to support every initiative. If, if somebody's going out and taking a chance on volleyball, we're going to support that. And if that means bringing UCLA in the gym, bringing out fans, one of the first schools that added when we started the First Point Volleyball Foundation was Damon College in Buffalo. Yep. And so uh, the, the leadership there has been tremendous. Their coach has been wonderful. I, I just... Everything about Damon has just been a, a classic, how do you get this thing off the ground story? And uh, we went right to, I, I told my assistant coach who's in charge of scheduling, get us to Damon day one. And we're going to the SIEC. We're going to go down. UCLA is going to go down this year and play Fort Valley and Morehouse and Atlanta. And, uh, and, and certainly in future years, we're coming to the NEC. Anything that we can do to support the growth and make sure that NEC gets off to a great start strong start, brings in talent, brings in revenue. If, if the UCLA brand can help bring people into the stands, we'll do whatever it takes to continue to foster the growth of boys and men's volleyball. Well, you have an open invitation and we have some good food in this part of the country and uh, a growing volleyball fan base. So hopefully we'll get to meet you at an NEC venue at some time in the future. As for now, I want to thank you tremendously for your time today and for the work that the First Point Volleyball Organization or Foundation is doing on behalf of boys and, and young men across the United States. So thank you, Coach. It was a pleasure. He's the USA national team coach. He's the UCLA coach, and he's the founder of First Point Volleyball, John Sparaw. I'm Ralph Ventry for the NEC. Thank you for joining us today.